Chandler, the setbacks of this first down for Oklahoma. No, oh, he's making the throw. He's got him wide open. First guy out to practice, D.J. Mills. Can he catch him? The foot race is on, and the answer is no. Bevel hitting from behind. Wait a minute. It went out the back of the end zone. That is a touchback. He did not get him to score. Bryce Bevel did not give up, and he stayed after P.J. Mills. Mike, if it's out of the back of the end zone, that's a touchdown, I mean, a touchback, and Syracuse would get it at the 20-yard line. That's a film that you show your defensive players all over the country. You never give up. Bryce Bevel bit on the play action, and he was really out of out of whack but watch him he never gives up gets his left hand and you always tell your defensive backs try to punch the ball out and he punched it right out of pj mills and pj mills was about celebrating there for a little bit couldn't catch the ball uh, he's <laughs> another look and hopefully we will get another explanation well watch him punch it out with his right hand there it is what an effort he's i don't know if his foot was i don't know for that young man kevin mason is for syracuse to get a touchdown off this drive harrison's open again yep he's got him there this time he holds on and he's going to score They'll challenge him because they feel like they have such great speed that they can get down the field. They block it. Still on the ground and recovered at the 12-yard line. It is Kevin Abram who got the block. That was a turnover. He'll walk in. Dar Dar for six. Darius was uh, was coming after it. So this attempt right here from the 13-yard line. Scott Blanton, one of one tonight, or one of two, I should say. Plenty of distance from there, and he knocks it home. A 23-yarder, so let's take a break. Oklahoma 27, Syracuse 14, just under eight left to play in this one. Now than he was back even in the second quarter, you can tell a great difference. We had five years of rust on him. <laughs> Option back into the boundary. He'll keep it. Touchdown, Syracuse. There are prayers in abundance at this stadium right now. He's going to go on top. just across midfield don't go away wow. 32 seconds left now a 52 yard i'm sure he had rather see him put it on down into the end zone 52 is his career long as we mentioned just a moment ago so they need to get it to at least the 35 yard line near sideline as it caught yes he was in bounds albert hall about a good throw now there ron there was a strong arm throw by Derek mcgee they're not going to wait they're not going to take a chance on a sack tire is coming or scott blanton is coming onto the field and this is going to be an attempt let's see where they're going to place it then at the 38 yard line well you know they're going to roar up the middle and kevin Abrams is going to come from the outside so we're down to this play ron this is it scott blanton trying 
to win it for Oklahoma from 48. Good placement. He's got the distance, and it is good. They're going to get a penalty, so... 11 seconds to go. Scott Blanton is the hero. I think the best thing I saw out of that entire celebration is Milton Overton whipped out on one knee and crossed himself. And I think probably a few more folks should as well. Good heavens, what a football game. 30 to 29, the Oklahoma Sooners with 11 seconds to play. Eleven seconds to go. There'll be a penalty on Oklahoma. Frustration on both sides. Talk about emotions now switching here in the last oh, this this second half. To, we this went from a total, you couldn't hear you. Pressure. Gonna be hit, and he will be sacked. Brent DeQuazy will end it all. And the Oklahoma Sooners will win it 30 to 29 and it's almost like they had to win it twice mike team the most the happiest member of the oklahoma football team right now is pj mills because that play by bryce bevel turned this thing around and i'll tell you what both these teams really fought hard once again a final score for the carrier dome oklahoma 30 syracuse 29 for mike godfrey mike adam lee and our entire espn and thank you, Ron. All we can say here is, wow, Chris Fowler wow. along with Lee Corso and Craig James. Craig James. Wasn't the only great game in college football. We'll get to that in about 20 minutes. Let's go right back now to Syracuse. Well, Gary Gibbs, Oklahoma's victorious coach, is now standing by with our Mike Adamley. Mike? Gary, not too many gray hairs underneath that Sooner ball cap, but I imagine when you wake up tomorrow morning, there'll be a few. Well, I tell you what, the great ball game, you know, before he came on, we talked about it. It's a game of big plays. You know, we've got a chance to blow them out. We're going in to make it a 31-point uh, game. We fumble at the two-yard line. They throw a long pass. They block a punt. All of a sudden, it's a ball game. The crowd got into it. Uh, I've got to give Syracuse a lot of credit about that. Don't take anything away from our football team. They kept battling and kept battling, and uh, awfully proud of them. How difficult was the crowd noise? I know you didn't do anything specific to prepare for the, the, the kind of... Uh, well, no, how do you prepare for this? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Our kids really showed a lot of poise. You know, we had to make some checks, make some key checks along the way, but no question, the crowd is a factor. We've got some footage of the strip by Bryce Bevel and the, uh, the strip on P.J. Mills. Uh, what, obviously, that was a huge factor in this game. Well, we're about to blow it wide open at that point in time. You know, they're discouraged. They're, we played very well the first half, and we're about to, you know, really put a nail in the coffin. It's a 60-minute game, though. They, their guy makes a great play. They throw a long pass. They block a punt, and all of a sudden, it's a dog fight. Gary, congratulations. A great way to start the season. Oh, thanks, Mike. Okay. Back to you, Chris.